someone gave me the opportunity to install a Netflix app in my Android. So in the evening, I watch some true stories out of a historical interest. So I watched the film Zodiac from 2007 about, the, about some serial murders in California in the 1960s. And I immediately realized the square and compass in the killer's logo showing the cross with four squares concept of four and the circle for the compass concept of three adding up to the number seven the holy number of the pyramid therefore the zodiac killer attacked four men and three women Again, showing the concept of four and three, four square and compass. Here you can see it. The killer targeted four men and three women. So all Freemasons all over the US knew that it was their work, but none of them told us anything, as Freemasonry is a secret order, right? Therefore, the Zodiac Killer's cryptograms, just like in the old days of their Knights Templars and predecessors of the Masons, who also had their own secret alphabet, and even more than one. The Zodiac, an origin of the name of the serial killer, is a line of celestial constellations that extend at eight degrees celestial latitude. Eight degrees, eight, as in octogon. And octogon, which lies at eight degrees longitude on Earth, with our base in the Alps, Switzerland. And as you can see, it has a lot of letters from the Freemason alphabet, as this one here. And this one here with these things with the dots in it and this one here and actually this one here which is in his alphabet an i but in the in the templar alphabet it's the letter just before the g so i guess with the uh, templar and freemason alphabet um, the last part of this riddle that hasn't been solved yet uh, can be solved with the help of it right so another clue for the Freemason involvement in the Zodiac killer case is the choice for a little pyramid for the letter I, here in the beginning, I. As in the all-seeing I, also in a pyramid. As a couple solved the first cryptogram by assuming the riddle started with I, as in I declare. Begin it, beginning the statement. It's the same as Q and Trump, as Tavistock knows that people are intrigued by riddles and the same huge mediatization in both cases. Just a little bit too much to be true. Q is the 17th letter in the alphabet, which makes 1 plus 7 is 8 for octogon. And the letter visually shows either an O for the compass or an oval in the middle, as in oval office from the Vesica Piscus, one for all and all for one. And showing their riddle WWG1WGA. Q talks too much about the cabal, obviously chewing it out where the enemy is to be found, as the cabal relates once again to the jaywalkers and their Kabbalah, which is, of, which is without any doubt of pharaonic honor origins, as it has Ka for the soul when alive and Ba for the soul when dead. And it has also Allah, like Kaaba Allah, Kabbalah. So, but I don't know much about this uh, stuff actually, so can't tell you. The Babylonian Talmud, by the way, was uh, written almost 2000 years ago in the third century in the Middle East. 
when the jaywalkers had never in their lives seen a white European. Meaning that when it talks bad about Gentiles in the Babylonian Talmud, they don't mean us, the white race, with it, as the jaywalkers had never seen one at this point. But they meant their Arab neighbours, or their predecessors of those days, still the same problem as today. But there is also another Kabbalah, written not with a K, but with a Q, as in Trump's Q, the Hermetic Kabbalah, related to Aleister Crowley, Jeffrey Epstein, Youth Elixir, the Templars, and to Q which is not the same as the Jay Walker's Kabbalah with a K. And in the Hermetic Kabbalah with a Q, they probably also talk about the Zodiac, which etymologically has the word zoo in it, Zodiac, Zodiac, uh, showing astrological animals, right? Like this one here, the goat or the Capricorn. Therefore, the Zodiac Killer, or Killers, started just at the beginning of the sign of the goat, Capricorn, in, um, in December, at winter solstice, the typical moment for satanic rituals, with winter solstice in 1968 on December the 21st and the first ritual killing sacrifice just a few hours or even just a few minutes before on the evening of December 20th, 1968. And remember what I told you about the Swiss serial killer Thomas Nick, who did a winter solstice sacrificial ritual on December the 21st, 2015 on four people, the concept of four, of which three children and one adult for the concept of three, making all the masons see square and compass. I made this video here about that, but I had a, long, a much longer and much better video about it. But the Swiss managed, in collaboration with YouTube's censorship, to take that important video and the proofs off. Here you can see when Thomas Nick, uh, he did the concept of three and the concept of four, three children and one adult, uh, winter solstice in, in the Northern Hemisphere. It started on December the 22nd in the night. So then they do it just before, you know, on the day before or late in the day. And uh, that's what they do, folks. And the Swiss, they try to hide it. You know, they try to take away all the proofs. And they manage to, right? That video is gone forever. So the Zodiac Killer case is definitely a satanic ritual, an evil sacrifice by the Freemasons, who practice old pharaonic rites of their ancestors in order to mobilize helpful demons for some project. Demons? For what? What project? The Zodiac murder rituals happened in California. Well, what more is in California, where this all started? Well, Hollywood, of course. And we can see from this moment on, in 1968, the moment of the Zodiac blood sacrifices, how Hollywood became really big with more and more violence, showing more and more perverted things, more sexual aberrations and more evil, as if something was pushing it this way. Satanic blood rituals that boosted Hollywood and its power over the mind and over our growing up children. The Zodiac rituals were probably the most mediatized serial killer event in history, with the Templar-related riddles to augment the people's attention, and even more, the attention of all the Freemasons all over the US for a sort of a start signal. 
as these orders are very satanic and alliance with evil. And from that moment on, we can see an incredible rise of serial killings and children disappearing. Therefore, McDonald's are putting the Zodiac Killer satanic riddle on their hamburger boxes for the children and every, everyone else roaming around there looking for children. Get some Zodiac Killer meat in a box, eh? Right after the Zodiac Killer affair that was still going on, there was another televised event of the Sharon Tate killings in August 1969 and Charles Manson, almost sounding like Charles Mason and related to Roman Pedolanskistein, whose house I found in Kstadt, Switzerland, which you can see in this film here, and how Swiss is a safe haven for all the world's real criminals. The Manson murders were mediatized to discredit the hippie movement for peace of the 60s. And the Manson affair having the MK Ultra mind control imprints all over it. And if Manson has really done it, he probably doesn't even remember, as LSD was used to crack the mind up for MK Monarch mind control. And right after that, that Bundy started in 1974. Through the planned mediatization of the Zodiac murders, serial killing became very popular for both the perpetrators and the consumers, and for Hollywood, of course. And it is a statistical fact that 69% of the serial killers are pink list killers. You can read that here, um, which I explain in this video here. 69% is a relatively extremely high percentage considering the relatively small pink list killer community compared to the overall population. But they are very rapidly growing. And with that, the number of serial killers. Oh, by the way, there happens to be a Swissy made watch called Zodiac with exactly the same logo of their company as used by the Zodiac serial killer, or most probably killers in plural. The logo is in the original Templar's colors, red and white in a red square, a real Freemason watch showing square and compass and Templar's colors in the logo. So you don't have to do that awkward Freemason handshake anymore to recognize each other. A fine product from the motherland and Templar base, as any Freemason should have one. So you don't have to do that awkward Freemason handshake anymore to recognize each other. From what I've heard in the US, there was an enormous rise in sales of Swiss Zodiac watches after and during the media's Zodiac killer propaganda. Everyone wanted to have that logo on their wrist. That logo they saw everywhere all the time on TV and in the newspapers, feeling like be a part of something like sheeple following the bandwagon. And look how Swiss is making great fun of the Zodiac killings in their name and insulting the families of the dead by putting the killer sign in their ads and saying, time's ticking. This typical cold Swiss behavior makes them very suspect. And I know they're quite capable of it all. Even the US Navy SEALs adopted a Swiss made Zodiac watch, the Super Sea Wolf in the early 70s, right after the murders and the nationwide publicity starting in 1968. A real killer watch for the Navy SEALs. Now I'll read it for you here. This is in Wikipedia, starting here. When the 750 meter rated Super Sea Wolf, as introduced in the early 1970s, the US Navy SEALs adopted it 
as Zodiac announced in magazine ads of the day. Zodiac took the world by storm in 1969 with the introduction of one of, of its most celebrated designs, the Astrographic. Uh, this unique mo model features mysterious floating minutes and hour hands. Okay. If you've ever heard of the Zodiac Killer and wondered if there's any correlation between the serial killer and the brand, well, wonder no more. Uh, well, you hear it, wonder no more. Eh? And the Zodiac Watch Cross Circle symbol was the name, the same symbol used by the serial killer who terrorized Northern California in the late 1960s. The Zodiac Killer coined his name in a series of taunting letters he sent to the press, which he signed using the Zodiac Watch symbol. Well, the, again, the, I told you, there's always a link to Switzerland. There's, there's always something. And what a great publicity boost for Swiss Zodiac watches. The whole hysteria was in red and white. Red for the blood and white for the innocence of the lives slaughtered for the project, the agenda.